Hi, let's continue learning phrasal verbs. I really think it's a very good idea. And, you know, we also have a very interesting video, or I can also say we have an absolutely amazing video, 250 phrasal verbs in one video. So I think it can help you a lot. So please have a, look, have a look and watch all the playlist about phrasal verbs. I mean, the playlist which is on this channel. Right. What are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about this phrasal verb. Bring up. Bring up. Do you know the meaning of this phrasal verb? Really, let's talk about its meaning. So, bring up means... Yeah, what does it mean? Bring up means to look after a child until he or she becomes an adult. Yeah, it's the main meaning. So, look after. In other words, look after a child until he or she until he or she becomes an adult so it's the meaning of this phrasal verb let me give you an example and i think that it will be more clear for you right so she his parents died when he was young his parents died his parents died when he was when he was a small boy when he was a small boy he was brought up by his uncle he was brought up he was brought up by his uncle he was brought up by his uncle right he was brought up by his uncle it means that his uncle looked after him, his uncle cared about him, his uncle educated him, so he was responsible for that boy, or for this boy, he was brought up by his uncle. So, you see that passive voice, passive voice is used here, but we can also say it in active voice, in active voice, so when it's in quite a normal uh, sentence, his uncle brought him up. His uncle brought his uncle brought him up. However, I'd like to pay, you know, I'd like to pay your attention to the fact that we often use this phrasal verb in passive. So it's a normal thing. He was brought up by his uncle or his uncle brought him up. So I would say this sentence sounds more natural, right? Absolutely. So he was brought up by his uncle. His parents died when he was a small boy. He was brought up by his uncle. So passive voice. What other examples uh, can, we, uh, can we give? So I was brought up. I was brought up by my aunt. I was brought up by my aunt. I was brought up by my aunt. Or I was brought up by my father. I was brought up by my father and so on. And so on. Alright, so, you know, I think it's really easy to make a statement. But it's much more difficult to make a question. So let's talk about making questions with this phrasal verb and the exercise is the following. You need to make a question using this phrasal verb, bring up. Yeah, before we do it, let's have a look at the slide and let's check everything. So bring up, look after a child until he or she becomes an adult. His parents died when he was a small boy. He was brought up by his uncle, passive voice. Yeah, it sounds really natural. His uncle brought him up, active voice. And some more examples. I was brought up by my aunt. I was brought up by my, th by my father. So, let's talk about making questions. Were you brought up? Were, were you? Were you? Were you brought up by your uncle? It's a question. Were you brought up by your uncle? Were you brought up by your uncle? Right, so were you brought up by your uncle? Were you brought up by your aunt? Were you brought up by your father? Were you brought up by your mother? And so on. So different questions can be asked. 
I think you should also know this phrasal verb grow up. Grow up, I mean that we often use this word grow about different objects. For example, compare the sentences. He grows vegetables. He grows vegetables in the garden. He goes he grows vegetables vegetables in his own garden in his own garden when talking about people when talking about people we norm normally we don't say grow we say grow up so i grew up you know some students say i grew in russia or i grew in you know i grew in spain i grew in Italy. In fact, you should say, you should say, I grew up. So don't forget about this, yeah, think up, this small thing, but a very important thing. So I grew up in Spain, I grew up in Russia and Italy. So yeah, you say, so I grew up. And where did you grow up? It's a very good and common question. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? If someone, if someone helped you, if someone helped you grow up, you say bring up. So, right. I, let's, you know, let's use these two phrase verbs in one sentence. So, my, my uncle, my uncle brought me up. My uncle brought me up. My uncle brought me up. Or I was brought up. I was brought up by my uncle. I was brought up by my uncle. I was brought up by my uncle. He helped me. He helped me grow up. Yeah, so uh, you see that these two phrasal verbs are used in one context. I was brought up by my uncle, he helped me grow up. Right, so if uh, we say or if we meet such a phrasal verb, bring up, it means that uh, someone uh, helps uh, another person uh, grow up. Yeah, so please keep in mind these two phrasal verbs, uh, bring up and grow up. Right, so bring up, it's about bring up and grow up. I hope that's more or, la more or less clear. So, were you brought up by your uncle? Bring up and grow up. He grows vegetables in his own garden. And also, you know, it's about grow and grow up. Grow and grow up. He grows vegetables in his own garden. Where did he grow up? I grew up in Spain. I grew up in Russia. I grew up in Italy. I was brought up by my uncle. He helped me grow up. You know that we can say he helped me to grow up or he helped me grow up. So both these variants are correct. However, you know, uh, we often meet uh, help uh, somebody do something without to. Okay, and the second main meaning of this phrasal verb bring up means bring up a subject. Bring up a subject or in other words to mention it mention it to mention it to talk about it to talk about it okay so as for me or personally it's another word for as for me personally i wouldn't like to bring up this subject right now i'd like to talk about another thing yeah so personally i wouldn't like personally i wouldn't like to talk about i wouldn't like to talk about this subject right now right now I would like to talk about this subject right now I wouldn't like to bring up I would like to bring up to bring up I wouldn't like to bring up this subject right now so let's do it later let's do it later let's do it later well so and some conversational practice so it's also very important okay so where did you grow up 
Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Italy. I grew up in Italy. I grew up in Italy. In Italy. Oh, yeah. I grew up in Italy. Were you brought up by your parents? Were you brought up? Were you brought up by your parents? Were you brought up by your parents? Right. Right means yes. Right. Right. So, and one more example. So, would you like? Would you like uh, to bring up this subject right now? Would you like to bring up or to mention or to talk about it right now? Would you like to bring up this subject? Would you like to bring up this subject right now? Right now? Um, yeah, to be honest, to be honest, so, or I'd like to be honest with you, to be honest, to be honest, you're, I'd better, I'd better do it, I'd better do it later, or let's talk about later, I'd better do it means that I think it's a better thing or it's a better idea to do it later, to be honest, I'd better do it later. Okay, so bring up a subject, yeah, really, let's talk about it, let's revise everything. Well, so bring up a subject or to mention a subject, it's another word, in other words. Personally, I wouldn't like to bring up this subject right now, let's do it later. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Italy. So it's a statement, it isn't a question. Were you brought up by your parents? Right. Would you like to bring up this subject right now? To be honest, I'd better do it later. Okay, let's look at everything, let's check everything and let's revise everything. It's very important for our progress. So, yeah. So, lesson six, bring up. Bring up, look after a child until he or she becomes an adult. His parents died when he was a small boy. He was brought up by his uncle, passive voice. His uncle brought him up, active voice. I was brought up by my aunt. I was brought up by my father. Were you brought up by your uncle? Bring up, grow up. Grow or grow up. He grows vegetables in his own garden. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Spain. I grew up in Russia. I grew up in Italy. I was brought up by my uncle. He helped me grow up. Yeah, let's talk about the second meaning of this phrasal verb. Bring up a subject. In other words, to mention a subject. Personally, I wouldn't like to bring up this subject right now. Let's do it later. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Italy. Were you brought up by your parents? Right. Would you like to bring up this subject right now? To be honest, I'd better do it later. Okay, thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for support. See you. Bye. It's an adult. Yeah, it's the main meaning. So, look after. In other words, look after a child until he or she until he or she becomes an adult. So it's the meaning of this phrasal verb. Let me give you an example and I think that it will be more clear for you. Right, so she, his parents. Hi, let's continue learning phrasal verbs. I really think it's a very good idea. And you know, we also have a very interesting video or I can also say we have an absolutely amazing video, 250 phrasal verbs in one video. So I think it can help you a lot. So please have a, look, have a look and watch all the playlist about phrasal verbs. Died when he was young. His parents died. His parents died when he was, when he was a small boy when he was a small boy. He was brought up by his uncle. He was brought up. He was brought up. I mean, the playlist which is on this channel. Right, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about this phrasal verb. Bring up, bring up. Do you know the meaning of this phrasal verb? Let's talk about its meaning. 
So bring up means, yeah, what does it mean? Bring up means to look after a child until he or she becomes by his uncle. He was brought up by his uncle, right? He was brought up by his uncle. It means that his uncle looked after him, his uncle cared about him, his uncle educated him, so he was responsible for that boy or for this boy. He was brought up by his uncle. So you see that passive voice 